so we did the p of the pm map we have completed the p now it's time to do the m okay so m is the mechanical factor so in mechanical factor we have the undercuts undercuts and we also have the denture adhesives denture adhesives and then we have the suction chambers suction chambers i'll tell you what these things are in a moment so undercuts so there are certain anatomical areas in the mouth for example it could be the retromolar pad or it could be the tuberosity undercuts okay so these areas because of the anatomy okay they have such kind of anatomy for example this is the anatomy of them so if you have a denture placed above it that denture because you're doing border molding right so when you do border molding obviously the material will flow here also so it will give a close fit to the denture means that will act as an undercut so that will aid in the mechanical retention this is the undercut and denture adhesive is for example fix on this is what we give when we have no other thing left especially the undergraduate students they give the patient fix on and tata bye bye <laughs> okay and then we have the suction chambers so these are just devices which help in suction have you seen that gun which had that kind of bullet and it had some sort of you know this thing this kind of end and when you press the trigger it would go and stick somewhere this this bullet will go and stick somewhere so this thing this rubber cup kind of thing it was acting it was acting by suction so the same theory applied here gun comes to dentistry a toy comes to dentistry <laughs> anyways so this was the suction chamber now we'll talk about one more m one more m here this is the muscular factor let me write down here this is the muscular factor now you can be a part of dr teeth academy uh, i would really want people from all over to join the academy because i want each one of you to participate if i am single handed my potential will be lesser compared to when i have more hands your hands i won't make you thakur of shole <laughs> okay so please uh, go to my facebook page and see how you can enter you have nothing to do just you have to send me an email that you want to join and you want to contribute to the academy and you're very warmly welcome to the academy anyways oh i got swayed away so the muscular factor as the name says these are the oral and the facial musculature the tongue which give supplementary retentive forces they do not have a very important role in retention but they have a supplementary role and for this muscular factor to be effective what we need to do we have to arrange our teeth in the neutral zone neutral zone so what is this neutral zone neutral zone so see we have the tongue here and we have the outer mucosa here okay and we have the teeth in between we have the teeth in between okay so we have forces acting from this side also and this side also all right so if we keep our teeth in the neutral zone okay then it will help us getting retention so this was first factor which helps in retention setting the teeth in the neutral zone then polished surface of denture should be properly contoured so we should polish it properly polish it properly and then the denture base must be extended to cover maximum area extended extended to cover the maximum area and also the occlusal plane must be at the correct level and so on so this was about the muscular factors now we did pmm now we are left with a and p so we are left with a so these are the anatomic factors anatomical anatomical factors in anatomical factors we have the size of the denture bearing area size of the denture bearing area so we know that 
द मैक्सलरी सर्फेस एरिया इज मोर इट इज टू बी प्रोसाइज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर द मैक्सलरी हैज अ सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड द मैंडबुलर हैज अ सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ ओनली फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो रिटेंशन विल इंक्रीज मीन्स द मैक्सलरी बाई द वर्च्यू ऑफ इट्स एनाटमिकल फैक्टर हैज मोर रिटेंशन इन दिस एस्पेक्ट इट हैज मोर रिटेंशन कंपेयर टू द मैंडबुलर वन बिकॉज ऑफ द सर्फेस एरिया ओके सो दिस वॉज आर फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड वन सेकेंड इनाटमिकल फैक्टर इट इज द टिश्यू डिस्प्लेसिबिलिटी इट इज द टिश्यू डिस्प्लेसिबिलिटी डिस्प्लेसिबिलिटी सो इफ यू हैव मेड एन इम्प्रेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट एंड ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम द टिश्यू वॉज डिसप्लेसड वॉट विल हैपन दिस टिश्यू विल रीबाउंड ओके वेन यू प्लेस द डेंचर द टिश्यू विल रीबाउंड एंड इट विल लीड टू loss of retention loss of retention so tissue displaceability also plays a role now lastly we have one p left so this p is the physiological factor now we are left with just the physiological factor physiological factor so in physiological factor the amount and consistency of saliva the amount and consistency of the saliva it affects the retention so thin watery saliva affords best retention and excessive saliva that is thick and ropey it accumulates between the tissue and it will lead to loss of retention okay and also we had studied a while ago that in case of xerostomia what happens is there will be ulceration and soreness of the denture bearing tissue so hope this video was helpful In the next video we'll study about the stability support etc etc please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and if you stay till the end of the video you are a retentive audience congratulations and really happy that you stayed till the end join me on facebook allah face